Hey guys, welcome back to another set review. Today we have set number 75215 Cloud Rider Swoop Bikes. Recommended ages is 8 to 14, and the piece count is 355. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the box, of course, which is, you know, a basic box. It was from the Solo Wave, so it has that box art. Uh, you can see all the minifigures. And there's the back of the box. Pretty simple. So now let's take a look at the minifigures. Oh, did I say minifigures? I didn't mean to say minifigures. We're going to be looking at the speeders. Um, so first off, we're going to take a look at the main speeder, which, I mean, I like to call it the main speeder. I don't know if it is the main speeder. I guess they're just the same, really. Um, this is Emphasis Nest Speeder. And it looks pretty awesome. I love the use of the dark tan as the main color scheme. It's accurate, but it looks really cool. Um, has some stickers, not too heavy on the stickers, but yeah, sorry about that. You can see it has some stickers up at the front here with these little fins. Has that blue pin, which does annoy me, but it's okay, I guess. It has a bunch of bars, which look really cool. And back here is the other sticker. I call it the Peter Price sticker because it looks like it. You got anti studs back there, which, eh, whatever. And then this little handbar, which can go back and forth. That can be adjusted, which Empress Nest can actually hold and sit there. I'm not going to do it because it's kind of a hassle, but yeah. And we got some, those black pieces are quarter, I can't remember the name, but they're a new piece and they're really cool. I got some sets like fuel canisters or something. I don't know. It looks cool though. Oh, uh, the engines, which look really cool. Actually, yeah, this is at an angle, slight angle, which again makes it look really cool. And of course, the bottom has these like landing gear, which works pretty well. Um, I really like how this just slopes. All the slopes just look really nice. And we do have stud shooters, which work as you would expect shoot out little red studs, which is cool, I guess. They don't hinder from it too much. But, yeah, just put those back in. Cool details, but I'll show you why I pretty much heavily dislike this in just a moment. So, let's get into the next. Okay, so this is Weasel Speeder. Uh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, Weasels. And it's a bit different. It has a different style, to be honest. It has, like, a more right angle. It's very square. And yeah, that's how I describe it. But it looks really cool. Same color scheme. It's a lot of black, though. Which I, I personally prefer this one. Uh, yeah. You can see the front. It's square stuff. More of a PewDiePie sticker style. Which is kind of funny, in my opinion. We also got these pieces, which are very useful for all sorts of mocks. Uh, also, like, guns and things poking out. And we do have more stud shooters. One there. And one on the other side. You can see there. Uh, but this does have a, uh, a sidecar, which isn't designed, but it can be taken apart. And then, like, you can use, like, a little speeder, which... I think is really cool. But let's just take a look at this one. The engines look really neat. Um, and it just does what move around. We just click in, so it doesn't do it very often. But yeah, they do look really neat. Lots of cool details. Again, the landing gear stuff. Uh, more of these pieces, which this is a really good set for those pieces because it has a lot of them. But that's really good. It uses um little uh, antenna pieces as handlebars. A little bar skate is detailing. Uh, someone can sit there. That is enough for a minifigure. Sadly, you can't put this in there. You'd have to remove this piece. But you can put this. This is how it's intended to, I believe. Right there. It kind of hangs over the edge, but it works. You can hold cargo. Um, but yeah, again, I love these engines. It has like a little seat back here and here. Just overall, again, that same style, but different. 
So, I really like that one. It's personally my favorite over the two. But yeah, with that, let's get into the minifigures of the set. Okay, so starting off with the first minifigure, we have this crate. Now I know this is not a minifigure, but I'm showing it off in the minifigure section. So I'm calling it a minifigure, even though it's not at all. So yeah, that opens. You have some coaxium in there, which is cool. Something to protect. And it just catches onto that, and then pops on in. I don't know why they chose a gold top piece. A little bit interesting in my opinion, but they did that. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, next up we have Tobias Beckett, a.k.a. Donald Trump. Um, yeah, if you would focus. You can see he has that cool hair piece. Pretty useful. A cool face print. Also pretty useful. Whoa, that's very unfocused. There you go. He has this cool, like, vest jacket thing. With a gray shirt underneath, and I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has like a blue shirt underneath the gray shirt. He's he has some dual pistols, which are pretty cool in silver. Not as common, but they're getting more common as we go. Cool back printing. All the legs and arms and such move, head moves. Um, no double-sided face, unfortunately, but I guess it could, it would probably show a little bit. But yeah, that's him. Now we have Weasel, who probably is one of my favorites of the set. Either my favorite or second favorite, which, because he's so cool looking. Because you can see his head, or his mask, I should say, looks really awesome. I don't know if you can see it, but it has some brown detailing down there. I remove this, it's just black. But in the sides, I have like detailing. It looks like a teddy bear face, which I think is funny. He has a cool gun, which is that gun piece with binoculars at the end. I think it's cool. Cool torso has like bones, it kind of looks like. Lots of like vests and ropes. Very, like fluff. But yeah, really cool. Really detailed helmet. You can see the back. You can see it's mainly red. It's, I think it's like triple molded or something. Something like that. Something crazy. Oh yeah, and he does have the small legs because he's a smaller character. That's, yeah, that's him. And then we have Emphis Nest, which is again my favorite or second favorite. She has this cool like staff piece. Well, not piece. It's three pieces. It has a machete, a little arrow piece and light saber hilt and light gray. Light bluish gray. And we have her cape, which has like fluff. It's not the newer style of capes, it's kind of, I think it's the older style. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, first thing that came to mind when I saw this leaked figure was it looked like, well, that's, I think my brother said this. It was like a, a tribal clone trooper is what he called it. I think that's kind of funny. But sadly, no head printing, it's just a black head. But and then we can take a look at the helmet, which looks really cool. These are like rubbery, so you can kind of bend it. I don't know. Printing. It looks really good. And here's the torso printing and leg printing, which I really like. There's some back printing. Pretty cool. And that's the uh, minifigures of the sets. Now let's get on to my final thoughts. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this set? I personally really like this set. I think it's a really good set, especially for the price of $20. I think $20 is a really fair price to pay for this. It has awesome selection of three figures, which, I don't know, it's not too many, but it's more than I would expect, to be honest, from LEGO. Um, Really high quality sets. I mean, set has two vehicles, so two kids could play with this. I can't remember if it had two instruction manuals. If so, that would be great. But, yeah, my one, the biggest con I have with this set is not a little one. So, the biggest one is that, that blue pin. That's my biggest dislike of this set. Because, look, it has a tan one there. Why couldn't they just use tan? It's not, the blue is need, not needed at all. 
They just chose blue, and that one has a red, which matches. And that's the only con of this set. You, some could say the stud shooters, but they honestly don't bug me that much. But yeah, that's going to be it for the review. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.